Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today we are starting a long set of videos with the SCX6. So this truck is an absolute blast. It is an absolute pleasure to drive it right out of the box. The set of series of videos you're going to be seeing right now are based out at my buddy's place. So huge thanks and a lot of props goes to Travis for building what he's built because really this would have been a fun truck to hit the trails with and all that kind of stuff. That's what I initially had bought it for. But what Travis has done is built this huge playground in his backyard. Tons of mounds, tons of obstacle courses, bridges. He's got like 30 plus, I think, lights out there for night running. Now, even though the course and everything he's built was based around 110 scale, he's heavy into 110 scale trucks, crawlers, comp crawlers, all that kind of fun stuff. I was shocked by how much fun the SCX-6 was out there. And I was still able to you know, maneuver it around, navigate it around some of the bridges that he had, again, built for 110 scale. Yes, there were some times when the size of the truck and the weight of this truck didn't necessarily work the best, but it was still an absolute pleasure to drive. The stock system, ESC motor worked amazing. The drag brake is awesome. It holds this thing still. Uh, the guys I was with, they're a lot more trail guys, a lot more crawler guys. And even they were very, very impressed with the truck that one of them is now going to be buying one because they just liked it that much. So what you're going to see, guys, in these videos is this truck is basically stock. So you can see I've got the Proline rims on it right now. It's bound up to my rugged, but that's it. Stock servo, stock ESC, stock motor, stock foams. I'm going to kind of try to do in the titles at some point very soon, I'm going to be changing to the Swampers and to the Proline dual stage. But I've got quite a bit of footage from this weekend so at times you may see the truck with the swampers and then we'll be back on the stock tires again obviously guys i'll do a video after you know a lot of the running videos i'll do another video kind of talking about the difference in the foams the difference from the swampers to the stock tires and all that kind of stuff but i just wanted to set this video up so you guys knew what was coming again in this video guys stock truck uh stock esc stock motor stock servo stock foams stock tires and it was an absolute blast to drive. I am so impressed that Horizon Hobby and Axial built a truck that right out of the box is an absolute blast. I don't see myself changing the ESC and motor. I loved it. Again, the drag brake guys was amazing. The control is amazing. The two speed in this truck is an actual two speed. First, low is low. That is your crawling. I was running it on 3S. I could maneuver it, handle it, control it amazingly. And again, guys, I'm not a super crawler. But when I did, let's say, come off of an obstacle and I wanted to, you know, kind of get it around quick or find another line to go, throw it into second gear, zoom around, get yourself lined back up again, put it back in the first and you're off and running. So anyways, guys, I hope you know what's going on because again, there's going to be videos where you're going to see these tires from this weekend, but then I'm going to be upgrading the foams and upgrading the swampers and all that kind of fun stuff. But anyways, guys, let's head out. There's going to be different parts. Um, again, because if I tried to put all the footage into one video, this video would go on forever. Unlike when I'm out bashing and I just zoom up to a jump launch, zoom up to a jump and launch. Crawling is obviously a little bit slower and again, guys, this is obstacles, so this isn't just trail running where, you know, it's ripping along a trail or anything like that. But anyways, guys, enjoy. <laughs> wow. 
normally, and I would pull that front end over the button. Pardon? Much, but this it's ignorant. It's just an ignorant little spot. Even your tires are kind of like in the full little spot. Just surprising. I wonder if when she, she, you get it flattened out there, if you give it a bit of a burp. I've been. Come on. I'm kind of like determined now to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, that right here it's too it's also really steep so it lifts it wants to lift so much no that's not gonna work I couldn't get this for the longest time you can see where I added just like the little concrete splats there because it was a lot smoother and gotcha the only way I could get it with my concrete was just giving the, the burp Try something else. I'm gonna cheat. I don't know how that, that's a 
so it be a little soft with your truck still. There you go, there you go. No. I need some, you know, a little bit of weight. No, that's not gonna go. Come on! Bugger. <laughs> All right. I wonder, what are your shocks like? So I did, it would be a 1.6 crawler. It would be a 1.6 kind of like the same thing the capsules. Just a bigger scale. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It is big, but 